What's up, everybody? Closet Branch, Deep, or Tyco Mike, Hoser, Wigwag. What's up? What are you guys complaining about over there? Tyco Mike. Who, who, who? How are you guys doing? First day of spring. Could have pulled me. It is a little chilly. Hmm. Anthony, what's up? How are you? What's going on? Anything good? I it was live earlier and I saw you, oh, hi, hi, over there, H&H, &H. Closet Branch was over there, fuming, what are you fuming about, what's up? Beside the price of everything. Gotta remember, take all my shit tomorrow. Got three jobs tomorrow. What's up, Tammy? How you feeling? Your steps on. Uh, sorry, Digger. You came in, I heard. Hold on. Hold on. What's up, Digger? Hi, uh, yeah, Jerry, Matt. I'm good, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. Hey, Dwight Curley, what's up? Hello, Anthony, middle port. Anthony, White. Anthony's having problems with his stepson. Oh, do you? Yeah, you know. Hiya, Tammy and Ray. Good to see you, Dwight. Hold your stepson. Closet. Good to see you. And deep room, Mike. Yeah, we all do. I've been there myself, Anthony. Um, things got better as uh, as he got older, and uh, he was only ever so young when me and his mum got together. And I think, I think he, he, his dad had drummed into his head that. The reason him and his mum weren't together anymore is because of me, which wasn't the case. And uh, but he was ever so young, and it took him a good few years to uh, come to terms with things, you know. But he's, he's turned out into a fine young man. In uh, is a blessing as a son. He's a, he's a good man. So I have been there with the problems, but they do they do resolve. Yeah, eventually, right. Hmm. Yeah, 23, you know, 23 is a shitty age. What happened, Dwight Curley? 
taken the piss yet. Did he do? Tammy, what kind of pizza did you make? Oh, oh yeah, you woke up to a burning wire smell, didn't you? Didn't you, Dwight? Yeah. I wonder what it was. He's found out what it was. He said he's just found out. Think he's going to tell us? Uh, I'd, I'd like to hope so. He'd not leave us on a cliffhanger like that. I'd, I'd like to think he's going to tell us. Peter in the fish tank and it shorted out. Whoa. Three meat and four cheese pizza. That sounds good. Sounds good. So, yeah. You, th you thought it was the heater. I'll just tell you this, when my stepson was about 13 or 14, he wanted to go back and stay with his dad and live with his dad again. Who and was then, this? Which one was this? Andrew. Andy. Okay. Oh. And uh, he never said to me that I... I don't like you. Yeah, I blame you for the reason my parents aren't together out like that. But you could tell that that, that was a general issue. Um, and after living with his dad for about six months, his dad was far too strict of a disciplinarian for him and he, he, he couldn't stand it. So he ran away, <laughs> caught the bus and came to our house. And I was in on my own, Robert. <laughs> And he said, yeah, I want to come back here. <laughs> and so I brought him in and we sat down. And I said, yeah, you see, you thought I were abandoned, didn't you? Until you had to go back there and live with your silly dad. <laughs> and he laughed and he laughed and he, he kind of mellowed a little that day. And uh, by the time he reached adulthood, he, he turned into a good lad. Yeah, yeah, you know. I don't know, I don't have kids. Kids can be a pain in the ass. I thought it was light, so. Kids are a pain in the ass. Our son Jack, I mean, Stephen had his challenging moments when he was younger, and my two sons from my first marriage. Both, not all children do come with, with, with challenges, don't they? And behavior problems, especially if you've. You know, if you reconstituted a family from separate parents and stuff, you know, the kids like to uh, exploit that when they can. Chicken. Chicken. Breaded chicken from the oven, and I had uh, squash and potatoes that I cooked on the stove. What's up, Nancy? Nice. Seven pizzas. Seven? How big were they? This big? Will you eat seven tonight? What's up, Nancy? Oh, my God. Some of them had to be for the freezer. Had to be. Could be eating seven pizzas tonight. What's up, Nancy? How you doing? Bruschetta Stratticella? Stratticella. What is that? Stratticella. I don't know. <laughs> what is that, Nancy? Star Stratticella. Wow, they're almost all gone. Don't what forget, is, what? hungry boys to feed there. Size of Domino's mediums. Oh my God. Yeah, get He's only got two kids. Hey, oh my Jim. God. She's got two young men and her husband. They're all, you know. I know, but seven pizzas? Oh, my 
Pete. Oh, Jesus. What's up, Eddie? What's up, James? That's the inside of something. I don't know what that is either, Nancy. What's this fancy food you're cooking? Hope you're well, James. Hope you're well. Uh, Doy Curly, how old was the heater that blew up? I'm curious. Hiya, Stretch. Good to see you, mate. They are not kids. Oh, well, you know, I know they're not kids, but... Young men, no. Eh. I can't believe they eat that much. You need to put them kids on a diet. They're going to eat you out of the house and home. Mozzarella ball with stracciatella inside. I don't know what stracciatella is. Hi, Les. What's up, Leslie? What's up, Les? Eddie, where have you been? He's been busy, Dwight. He works. He's a hard-working, seven-day-a-week, 12-hour-a-day person. Oh, he's a grafter. He demoted some people and took the wrenches. He has, yeah. Yes, I did. Got rid of them. I don't know what either one of those. I don't know what they are, Nancy. I can smell that burnt out heater right now. Time to throw it out. Oh, Hello. Hello, yeah. How old is that heater? What's up, Ian? I saw Ian working today. <laughs> yeah, Stretch has been in the clink. He's been in Nick all week. Waiting for Jerry to bail him out. <laughs> Traditional Italian cheese made from pulled mozzarella curds mixed with fresh cream. Never heard of it. I don't know, Nancy. Did you not have any meat? You just ate cheese? Cheese is pretty good. I know, but you need a little pr meat, protein. Well, unless you're one of them vegans. They've long and prosper ones. I don't know. That's Spock. Prosciutto de Parma. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah, Jerry finally found me at work. Yeah. Uh, Nancy eats meat. That's good. That's good news for us farmers. But today's the first day of spring. Yes, yeah, the vernal equinox, isn't it? I don't know, but it's the first day of spring. Wow. Okay, Mike. Enjoy, enjoy your dinner, my friend. All right, Mike. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, they call it the vernal equinox. Yeah, it's chilly and windy here too. Yeah, this weather sucks. Wake up, and it was thirty-six here. I think it was like 40, 40 or 39 here, something like that. It was better, but it was really windy, and it was just went right through you. It's cold. Cold. Yeah, I said the wind chill factor <laughs> ruined the day, Carl. Yeah. It's not been too bad here, lads, if you're actually in the sun, sunshine. You know. 
stood at the back door for a bit and then I stood in the front room in the sunshine and I was all right, standing in the shade, it's not so good. Yeah, it's not so good. But anyway, that's it. Probably going to snow. So I put together all my crates. I put all eight of them together. Little tiny ones were a pain in the ass. The directions, uh, you know, they're pretty straightforward, but there's a lot of little parts. Uh, the way they numbered them, like they numbered them on the back of them. Each one had a number. And they gave you good directions, but the numbers were reversed. Like they were backwards. Like the seven was backwards. Like they weren't. So it was hard to tell a 19 from a 16. It was. It was yeah, sucked. Yeah, that's not too good. Yes, it's going to snow a little overnight. Oh, screw that. Yeah, what's for dessert? What's for dessert, Nancy? Wow, that's 16. It didn't get that out to you. What? Les had 16 Celsius today. That's what that is warm. Is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've I'm... had snow in April up here, Les. We've had snow in April a few times. Nancy, is today St. Joseph's Day? Alexa, is today St. Joseph's Day? Here is an answer from an Alexa Answers contributor that I translated. St. Joseph's Day is celebrated annually on March 19th. Yes, it is. Today is St. Joseph's Day. No Zeppeli? You need some Zeppeli, Nancy. Little St. Joseph's cake. Oh, you did have a Zeppeli. Okay. Okay, take care, Ian. Thanks for dropping in, Matt. Thank you. All right, Ian. Take care. Have a good night. Thanks for popping in. <sighs> yeah. I don't have no Zeppelin. Can you bring me a Zeppelin and a regatta cannoli? Angelo's Bakery is so good. Dang it. Oh, Godzilla. Yeah, well, he's chose a good movie. He's chose a good in there, hasn't he? <sighs> I like Godzilla. He's a good lad. Is he? Yeah, he was just misunderstood. But they caused it trouble. It wasn't him who caused trouble. Uh. People caused trouble for it. Godzilla, he weren't doing, he weren't doing all, minding his own business. So Ray's having pizza and Godzilla, huh? That sounds good. All right, we wags. Holy cannoli. Yeah, wigwag. I went to the hobby shop today. I picked up a couple paints and I checked out that Revell glue. It looks the same. It's got the same tip as uh, the Monomaster glue. But I don't think the uh, container is as big. Like, I, I don't think it holds as much. It was seven bucks for that thing of glue. I didn't buy it, I don't need glue. I haven't seen that movie, Tommy, but I bet it's good. I've been excited to watch that. Godzilla and Hong Kong joining sides to God the bad guys. Leave the gun, take the cannoli. Yeah, I'd be interested to see uh, if uh, the 
bottle is the same ounces wise. I don't think it was. I don't know how much is in that bottle, Master. I went south to New Haven looking for the PNW yard, found it, but couldn't get to it. Managed to get to the Amtrak. Sounds good. Made an orange fruit tree today. Sounds good. From the Godfather, that, that line. 29th is out. Excellent. I hope they win. I hope, I hope they both win. So what? What? why is... What happened to Monomaster? Did somebody else take it over? Or does it just change names? I thought I saw it still. You sure Hobby Lobby still doesn't have it? No, I thought Hobby Lobby still had it. You did right there. We blank getting a, a stash together. It's finding out that they're going to withdraw the product, isn't it? And find it, uh, you can stock up quick before it goes away. Stanley on, and they discontinued it. Model Masters was bought by Russ Stanley. Why would would they still be making it? Ah, Russ Stanley bought Testers, dropped most of the product line, and wrecked the rest. Well, it's to do away with competition, isn't it? Plain and simple. All right, closet. Your forehead looks like Godzilla. Or does it look like Godzilla's forehead? Or does it look like the whole Godzilla? It's just under a different name, that's all. Testers. I think so, Les, yeah. Okay, Tommy, take care. Bye, Tommy. Thanks for popping in. Have a good night. Yeah, I think the Revell glue is a lot smaller. Model Masters. Fowler glue. You still got flat Fowler. Fowler glue. Uh, I wonder what that shit is. That uh, Testers Model Masters is like 15 bucks. There's one here that's sort of been withdrawn everywhere. They do the uh, this range. And I'd have bought more if I'd have known they were being discontinued, but I didn't know it at the time. Model is acrylics. What do you use that for? This one's a, a road, asphalt street dirt. When it comes with its own dropper, you use it for... Uh, weathering under, underneath vehicles on low line of vehicles and on on wagons and stuff like that on the on the tracks, and you can also use it. You know, 
quite often on a road surface you'll see two lines where the tires of vehicles have continuously gone over and they all stick to the same sort of route you can use it to make those tracks and for gathering dirt dirty colours at the side of the road in the gutters and that type of thing okay james take care thank you for nipping in my friend see you james have a good night So you're telling me that thing, this has a plastic, uh, plastic needle? Thank you, Nancy. I appreciate that. But I think you could if you tried, honestly. Everyone should give it a do. I, I, I really wanted Stretch to see it because once I painted it, Stretch had left me a message saying, how the hell are you going to do the motor lines now? Hey, Nancy. Nancy, uh, how's your layout going? Have you did anything with your layout? I haven't seen no videos on your layout. I think you will, Dwight. I've got every confidence that you'll do it, my friend. Oh, Deluxe Innovation has this glue. Oh, precision plastic glue. Is it like a polystyrene cement? I have no idea. I'm delinquent. <laughs> no. Parcel club points. Low odor liquid plastic cement for pinpoint applicator. Ten second working time. Uh, clog. Plastic bottle. Oh. That's all it says. I mean, it doesn't say, like, what it's for. I mean, precision, plastic. All types of styrene plastic kits. So that would be, right? Mm. Yeah, polystyrene cement stuff. Two layers, but I'm upgraded them. Well, there's always time. There's always plenty of time, isn't there? How much is 25 grams? Alexa. Mm. How much is 25 grams in ounces? 25 grams is about 0 0.882 okay. ounces. 8, 8 ounces, so it's not quite an ounce. That's not bad, 750. I'll have to see if they have it at the hobby shop and try it out. Vineyards is a similar thing, doesn't it? Model masters, yeah. I still got the two layouts, but have not upgraded them. My bad. That's okay. Which hobby shop did you go to, Jerry? My hobby shop. Triple A. Triple A, Closet Branch. The only hobby shop there is in the world. I've got to admit, it's a humdinger of a place in there. Model is heaven. They were some nice weathered Amtrak cars. Nice. Does anyone think I will ever figure out how to flash the firmware on the printer? I don't know. I think you will. I don't know. I don't know, do I? I don't think it's going to be a problem for a man of your caliber, do I? I don't know what you mean by flash the firmware, but um, I'm sure you'll 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 work it out. How come you haven't figured it out yet, Dwight? What's the problem over there? What are you doing? Fourteen people here. Did you reboot the flux capacitor, Dwight? First thing to go to. That's the go to item, isn't it? Yo, there's 14 people here and only 11 likes. Who didn't hit the thumbs up? Oh, come on, guys. Please hit the like button. It really does help. It really does help. And I can't find out who you are if you haven't. So I can't understand why. Do you think... Um, do you think stain is going to take to plastic? No, it won't stain it. It may sit on the surface, but it certainly won't stain it. But inks, inks will. I don't know why they tell me to use this uh, 
Flo Floquil stain stuff to to put on these crates. That ain't gonna work. You could try a little dab of it and see what happens. I think you it's trying it. It's fourteen dollars for a little bottle. Screw you. Right. What does, it, what, what does it say on, on the bottle? Does it say? I don't know. I didn't buy the bottle. I just looked it up online. Right. When what I saw fourteen ninety nine, I said, not happening. What's up, Cosman? That was Cosman who didn't click the thumb up. He's clicked it now, I'm sure. I'm about to put the old board back in and install a raspberry pie. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like raspberry pie. Kill him. I like blueberry and cherry pie better. Do you know what, Anthony? You could be right there. It could be that. It could be the endoplasmic reticulum. Didn't think of that completely. Over my head, I didn't even think about it. Install Raspberry Pi and switch to Octoprint. That's a good. Uh, uh, that's a good alternative, right? We'll stain it. Yeah, some of them they, they call them a stain. It's clearly not going to soak in, but it, it, if it dries on the surface, it'll colour it. That's that colour, won't it? Yeah, I'll just try paint them. Yeah, if you've got Raspberry Pi in there, you won't need an SD card. Where are you going to get a Raspberry Pi at, Dwight? The Arduino cell. So. Going to have coffee and pastry. All right, Nancy, enjoy your coffee and pastry. Have a good evening. Thanks for Thank stopping you, in. Thank you for your, your kind comments. That's much appreciated, my friend. It's good to see you, Nancy. <laughs> Digger, do you usually talk over people? No, you do it to me. It's my show. <laughs> it's my house. My rules. But I'm halfway through saying something to someone. But I was just saying goodbye to Nancy. And you do the same thing. You just... You just... <laughs> oh, man. Sorry. Go ahead. Say what you need to say. Bye, Nancy, and thank you ever so much for your very kind comments. I really do appreciate them. Uh, hey, Doy Curly. You know what's going to happen next, right? Was it? It's talk to you later. What's T T Y L? Who said that? Oh, talk to you later. Talk to you later, Cosa Prince. To me, a panel wash will stain those pallets nicely. Panel wash. I didn't see that at the store. To me, a panel wash, huh? I'm not too worried about it. I think I'm just going to paint it. That's a, a Vallejo wash. Is it a panel wash? Yeah, same thing. It's a wash. Use a wide, a wide flat brush. Just dip it in. Not too much. Just run it across, and it runs down. And it's uh, Dwight will be back in a minute or two. I timed him up. Dark and uh, certain places, so it looks like you can use it for rain marks and stuff. You know, dirt. Uh, okay, I see panel line accent colors. Vallejo, the Vallejo wash is. Uh, Expensive. Tanaya comes here, but probably don't see how this doesn't. This is a dropper bottle. Yeah, it's all right. I don't need that shit. It's a dropper 
that when uh, somebody, I need a new camera, don't I? Somebody going to recommend a decent webcam that's automatically focused and high def 1080. Please. Yeah, but you won't spend the money on it out there. I will, I will this time, I promise. Well, the last one I got was a more money than the one I've already using, and it was pants, weren't it, Jerry? It was what? It was pants that didn't work at all. Pants? Yeah, pants means really bad. Uh, it was dreadful. I'm sure any Logitech uh, camera will be fine. You need better than 1080. Yeah. What What do you recommend, Les? I need a plug-in USB or plug-in. So you can tell I don't want to install drivers and stuff. I can help it. I just want to plug it in and let it do its thing. Recommend me one, Les. I can go and buy it. Yeah, I've heard good things about the next go. Uh, Logitech Brio 4K webcam. It's 170 bucks. 170. Yeah. Hmm. Chill that. Not spending that much. <laughs> well, what the fuck? Logitech. Uh, I know. I think Rick Bailey uses this one. Logitech C nine two zero X at sixty bucks. That's nearer the mic. Logitech oh, no. Logitech. What's it called? C nine twenty X. I don't know if it's uh, if it auto focuses though. You have to read what it does. Uh, Thirty frames a year, strong impression, cancel crisp. Yeah, I don't know if it's it has auto focus or not. It doesn't say, but I would guess it that it does. Right, I'll do some research on that after. Yeah, do some research. A U T focus. Four K with autofocus. <laughs> Yeah, these Nexgos uh, keep coming up. Heath had recommended a Nexgo to me. Oh, just hit add to cart and buy me. I've just got specs. Yeah, it says auto focus on this this one. I'll come it? For now, but it says auto focus. I've just looked at specs for it. <laughs> the cheapest I've just seen on a brief look there was fifty seven bucks here. Fifty seven beaners for a nine twenty. Uh, closet. I've got one that I'm using now, but. If you watch this, it's not autofocus, is it? I mean, I don't know. 
I have to twizzle the lens about. And they did say it were auto four. I bought one that was supposed to be auto focusing everything. And when I put it in, the picture were dreadful. They were terrible. Oh yeah, yours. Uh, it's a... So it's, it's sat behind me in the drawer. Didn't run gun at all. Oh. I'm just thinking of, of, a, of a better camera than the one I've got, that's all, because this picture isn't uh, isn't good at focusing. I mean, it's okay now at this distance. <laughs> you can see my ugly mug. And my, wife's, my wife's wedding picture on the wall. <laughs> that's all you need. <laughs> So that's focusing, right? Yeah, beautiful work. Yellow brown. That's uh only yellow. So that's my laptop. Yeah. Yeah, well, I had a good camera on my laptop till it dropped dead on me. And I took the laptop to the repair shop. And he said, it's not worth trying to repair it. It's really, and it's, it's only had a year's warranty and it was just out of warranty. He said, it's really not worth it. Can't be fixed economically and worthwhile crap it's thing crap so i said build me a new computer then that works I told him what i wanted but we didn't have what are you going to do board. with the what are you going to do with the camera now well i might use it to make a video on the bench i don't know it's just for this mess basically isn't it oh well, i think it's a waste yeah you could use your phone to make video and the just, user here, what the hell do you need to hear for? Look, can, can you read that? No, but I don't need to read it. <laughs> oh, well, I won't bother then. I'll put the money to something else, like uh, I'll get myself a hooker with money instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get yourself a hooker instead. I, I mean, if, I don't know, unless you know, really want a camera. Well, what do you, you don't need a camera for streaming. You use your, so I was going to do that. I was going to get another camera that I could put on my bench. And uh, I'll just use my phone. Mm, that's what I've been doing up to now, just using the phone. That's all. Spend money on modeling that camera. Okay, closet. I've got that. On modeling. Are you sure I shouldn't spend it on a hooker? You know, last time I was in, there's a city a few miles away called Bradford. And the last time I was there, I'd gone for a, a walk around and some shopping, and there was this girl on the corner. And she says, All right, love, do you want some business? I said, No, no, I'm. <laughs> I'm only here doing a bit of shopping, but thank you. I said, are you busy? She said, you know, I'm that busy. I could do with another pair of legs that open up round corner. <laughs> I'm bad. What did she say? She said, I'm, I'm that busy. I could do with another pair of legs so I can open up round corner. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Jesus, dear. <laughs> oh. Where's Rowan? In the next room. You don't think I'll be talking like this? You've just sat to you. Dear. What's she doing? I don't know what she's up to. She don't want to hang out. Rowan, we're live in here. We're on a live in here. 
you want to come and say hello or not? It's all right. She don't give a shit. She was worried she was being too loud then. She just said, sad off. Tell them to sad off. Sad off. Sad off. Speaking of sodding off, let me go check on somebody. Has he sodded off? <laughs> I know who you're going to check now. Oh, boy, he's dropping like a fly. Really? How many is he down to? 892. Oh, dear. Not a peep out of them, huh? No videos. No nothing. No, he's on his way out, isn't he? Which finally, the straw that broke the camel's back has gone too far. I think, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think he's done. Nothing but abusing people and, and ripping them off and stuff like that. Maybe I'll start another channel. In this community, we're all supposed to be mates, aren't we? You know. So I planted some day lilies today. So it is really welcome. He probably ripped me off, haven't he? Alright, Ron. Ron's here now. I thought you were trying to say I were being too loud. I thought I didn't even say it. No, uh, Jerry asked where you were and oh, said, right. check if you want to hang out with me. Yeah, what will be long now? I'm absolutely shocking. She's tired as well, Jerry. We'll go to bed. Good uh, Well, I've just, I've just had an hour, so I'm going to stay awake an hour, then I'm going back to sleep. Oh, Moses is happy to see you. That's cool. It's a nice place, York, isn't it? And that's where National Rail Museum is. They've just had a boost of money off government to someone, haven't they? Mm -hmm. Anthony says hello, Ron. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 Leeds. Yeah, Leeds is a good station as well. We're busy. Weeds. Leeds, you mean? Yeah, Leeds. Kind of like you said, weeds. Uh, closet says hello. You say hello, closet. Hello, closet. Who's eating flies? I don't know. Who's eating flies? What's that about, Wigwag? You hungry? Eating flies. Wigwag's a sir. I don't know. Catching flies is in the alley, my son, isn't it? Wigwag or Digger wants to put a little spliff stuff in there. Mix the tobacco with other stuff. With, a, with another substance. Ron, give him some spliff juice. He won't really have it. He has a bit, and then he doesn't like it. There's nothing under there, is there? Um, I'll have the ashtray, though. Oh, I'll have this on the bed. Daft on. He's trying to get under my computer desk now, but there's nothing there. Who? Ah, uh, Moses. trying to get under the desk. There's not, absolutely there must nothing. There's a wall or something there. There's absolutely nothing there at all. Look. Completely nothing there. There's probably some crumbs under there. Maybe you want some crumbs. I don't know. I think there must be a ball or some of them that covered. He knows there's some of that. Well, he's not going to get it, is he? You can't. Well, if it shows where it is, then. Where's the whiner? On the bed. It's around that minute. Uh. 
for now. Uh, yeah, they are. They're re redoing the museum, the National Rail Museum. Where's Hank? Fast asleep at the bottom of the stairs. Is he? At the bottom, the bottom of the stairs, yeah. It's nice and cool down there. I think it's too hot. Oh. What do you want, Moses? One sec, I'll just come and check now. What does it want? There's nothing under there. Is it not under them drawers? No. No. No, there's nothing there, mate. You do first, there's nothing there. No, I'll just ignore him then. No, he's having me on. Making me crawl about on my hands and knees looking for stuff that's not there. Okay, closet. Good night, mate. Take care. Good night, closet. You tired, closet branch? Good night, closet branch. Okay, everyone's tired tonight. Guess he got up too early. How's your day been, Jerry? Have you been doing anything good? Working. No, oh, not good then. We've been to shops, modeling shops. Yeah, I went to the modeling shop for about 10 minutes. That's about it. If you'd have took Digger with you, you'd have been in there longer than 10 minutes. I would have had to leave him and come back. Yeah, just like give him a sleeping bag for night and then pick him up day after. <laughs> we got it. They were open 24 hours, wasn't it? Nah, they gotta close sometime. We have a supermarket in the next town at Tesco, and it's open 24 7. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it never closes. Is Jimmy sitting in the bottom of the cage? He's, he's on the bar. He's down in the bottom. Come out. Got him out then. I'm not with him. I can't tell him what he's doing. Moses is going to eat him. Come on. Well, that's a risk he's going to want to take, isn't it? Because he's a stupid ass parrot. He tried to come out earlier when all the dogs were here. And uh, it could go badly wrong for him. You know, especially the bigger dogs. That's as big as he's going to get. Yeah. Yeah, that's the breed, the Senegal. Would you go to the store with him on your shoulder? No, he'd probably, uh, he'd probably get into mischief, jump off or fly off. If he gets, if he got frightened or something, he would fly off. Really? I can walk around with him, you know, and go, go from here into the other rooms and stuff, and he stays still. Hello, Rick Bailey. Good to see you. Uh, what's up, Rick Bailey? Yeah, the Asda used to, Les, but he doesn't anymore. Just a, just a test score. Rick Bailey, did you see Digger's video on uh, doing, uh, what do you call that shit? Grout? Or what do you lines, call it? Yeah. Mortar yeah. lines. Mortar lines, did you see his video, Rick? It went pretty good. I think you should give that a try. Does it not suck, Jerry? No, actually it was pretty good, Ron. Oh, I might watch it then. Ron won't watch it. <laughs> it was pretty good. I saw Rick's live stream. You know, I watched that later on about um, with the grey. 
Hand pencil. Yeah, those pencil things. Stick in there. No. Not yet, Cosmin. No, I haven't. Uh, I haven't done any graffiti. Uh, I can show you what I've done so far. I've just done all the all the the uh, the stuff, the, you know, the fighting work there, the mortar. That's all I've done. I've got the windows to do. And I. Uh, That's Digger's last video. Like, yeah. subscribe, and comment. And what do you mean? You just subscribe to Digger now? After all these years. Oh, terrible. Even I've subscribed. Even Ron subscribed. She hates me. <laughs> <laughs> What's that for tea? Hot dogs. But not yet. But not, not your kind of not the dogs. American hot dog that, that you've all come to love and know from Armour Hot Dogs or anything. It was uh, an Irish sausage, two Irish sausages on a finger tea cake, buttered first, obviously, with curry gold, then fried onions, fried onions are plenty, and then HB sauce. Mm. How'd she cook the hot dogs? I did cook the sausage. In the air fryer. In the air fryer. Oh. Hey, Mike. I welcome back. Four of those. Ah, welcome back, Deep Run, Mike. Yeah, he's been subbed a long time, has Rick. Like, subscribe, and comment. I never say that. Do I need to? Should I start saying that? You can only be in here if you subscribe. Like, subscribe, and comment. Chaps. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up. Yeah, Rick, Rick was there on my first ever sucky video, on the, the suckiest of suck videos. Was he? Yeah, he's been there a long time. Did you guys see the uh, paint booth I made? It's a dandy. Yeah. Works awesome. Have you got it, have you got it to show us now? No, nah, it's, in the other, it's in the other room. Can't be bothered. Can't be asked with that. Slash that like button. Hit that bell. Why would you want to fry air? I heard it's pretty tasty. Smash that like button. I don't know, Les. I don't, I've never used one. There's four air frying things downstairs. Three that you put a, a pan in and out, and one that's an air frying oven. I've never used any of them. I don't know what they do, or how they do it. Uh, uh, what's involved? Well, you can cook everything in it from a roast chicken. You can cook absolutely everything. Everything. Just like putting it inside your oven, only it cooks a hell of a lot quicker. Quicker. And healthier. And healthier for you. Hey, Rick Bailey, I'm going to incorporate those C's into my layout. Going to giant. Going to giant. Got to do food shopping. All right. See you later, Rick. Have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. Buy something good to eat. Yeah, take care, Rick. Convection oven. Yeah, it's a convection oven, isn't it? Basically, yeah. Basically, yes. We've been through this many times. Any oil, you just, it just looks like an oven. Yeah, just a convection oven. Just a different name so that you can buy one. Yeah. So now you have a convection oven, an air fryer, a deep fryer, a microwave, a toaster oven. The deep fryer went in the bin. I saw it in the recycling bin myself. I don't fry anything anymore. Only really? Onions. Only the onions are you fried. You threw it out? Yeah, threw it away then. I think it's because I'm big and fat with a dodgy ticker. We don't, we don't have anything fr proper fried now. We've been through a convection oven many times. 
Okay, Anthony, sleep well, my friend. Good night, Anthony. Thank you for coming. Good night, Anthony. Into ditching the oil fryers, yeah. That's true, Wigwag, because you label it fryer so that you ditch the oil fryer. Well, we have frying pans. We have plenty of frying pans. Plenty. Frying pans are plenty. Just not, I'm not having anything deep fried. Well or yeah. nothing. Yeah, or oh, deep fried's not healthy anymore. Mm. It never has been much of eating anymore. Yeah, but at one Bad. time... Do, 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 like it's healthy it, for you. No, at one time they, they used to say it's not too bad. You know, and now it's uh, now it's dreadfully unhealthy. There's no substitute for frying in beef tallow, that's true, but we call it what do we eat? Lard. Beef dripping. Beef dripping. Doing your roast potatoes in beef dripping. Yeah, roast potatoes in in, in beef dripping. When I first met Ron, she used to make chips in a proper chip pan. That were to lure me in, weren't it? Beef tallow's good for you, yeah. Yeah, vegetable oil's bad. Olive oil's bad. Peanut ground nut oil's bad. Although, they do, in a wok, if you're cooking in a wok, Ken Holm says the only thing to fry in a wok with is ground nut oil. Nothing else will do. Ah, we're making proper chips as a 10 year old deep fried. Yeah, ah, well, they were the best way to go, That's weren't they? That's the way you used to have chips back then. They weren't, yeah, nobody they were, ever they, even did oven chips back yeah, then. Yeah, they were no alternative chips. But they're the best chips, what you do yourself. Mm. Ron used to. Uh, be asked. <laughs> Ron used to make them like that for me. And then uh, as soon as I got in and I got my feet under the table, she reeled me in. I'd start up to eat in Nelson then. What a rip. What a rip. Rip. Anthony's leaving? Good night, Anthony. Yeah, he's going to bed. Now Jimmy's up there making trouble and mess. Making proper chips as a ten-year-old deep fryer. Proper chips, huh? Yeah, proper, proper. chips. Proper job. They call them fries over there, don't they? Yeah, chips are fries. And see, fries are just skinny chips. What they call <laughs> potato chips out there is the crisps. crisps and all that. Deep run, Mike. I wonder what your mom would think of an air fryer. Deep run, Mike. Deep fried, Mike. Oh. Deep fried, Mike. Hey, deep fried, Mike. Chips come in a bag. Yeah, they do. They wrap them in a bag for you and you put salt and vinegar on and eat them warm on your way home. Mm. Chippy chips. Oh, on way home from Chippy. Flying Crow Robert tonight. I bet they don't do fish and chip shops all over there. I don't think so. Deep fried tackle. There's a couple of them around. Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot of chippies. Do they do battered sausage? I don't. They do corn dog, which is a battered hot dog sausage. In oh, right. Yeah, well. Over here, it's just battered sausage, but it's proper sausage, not hot dogs. Mm. I'll just check that link. So, That's what wrong. did you have? You had hot dogs and chips? No, didn't eat no, chips. Didn't have chips. We had too many hot dogs. I had four of those double sausage hot dogs with fried onion. Oh, well, you have four of them. Yeah. It was splendid. Even I did, but I had to share mine with dogs. 
Ronkel managed to eat up. My eyes were bigger than my belly. I thought I were really hungry till I come to eat them. Yeah, that's usually how it is. What did you have for dessert? I didn't have a dessert. That were enough for me. I haven't had a dessert either. You're all fell asleep. Yeah, I think that's probably why I fell asleep because I was too full. Now, yesterday I had a big cream cake. Ron brought me in a really big cream cake, drizzled with chocolate, shoe pastry filled with cream, and then chocolate crumble, shaved chocolate on the top, and bits of shaved chocolate were all around, and it was dark chocolate as well. Where was that from? I don't supermarket. Know. Supermarket. So, yeah. when I'd eaten it, I tried to get another. I went back in and I said, Ron, the dogs have took that one and eaten it. And she said, nice nah, try fat, so on your way. <laughs> nice try fat, so. Fried haggis. Wow, in butter. Gordon Bennett. You yeah, ever had that? A, I was for fish and chips. Ten or a bloody day. Some places are dearer than that. Fifteen mm. quid and stuff. You ever had fried haggis? No, and I don't fancy it either. What's in the haggis? Um, gizzard and stuff. It's a sheep, sheep stomach, and then the, there's the lungs and all that lot chopped up in there, isn't mm. it? All the... Uh, what and all they, they put like oats and stuff in yeah. it, don't they, to make it like it? What they call the humbles. Yeah. You know, have you heard the term eating humble pie? Yeah. That's the humbles are what what uh, the the lungs and, and all the internal organs. That's what the servants used to get to eat when they were preparing dinner for the uh, lords and ladies upstairs. They'd yeah. get those bits and put them in a pie, call it humble pie. Purely and simply because it, they called those parts the humbles. I wonder if it was good. Probably better than the alternatives that they had, but I doubt whether it's going to be any good. You never had haggis? I wouldn't even put it near my mouth. No, I've not had haggis, but I have had black puddings. And that's rank as well. And they're beautiful. Ron says they're rank. I will run them what she's talking about. Oh, they're horrible. Vinegar on them. You can have mustard on them. Fresh pepper cracked onto them. Oh. Once eaten some black pudding by mistake, didn't I? Can you remember? It's I nasty. It was a bit <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What did she think it was? Burnt ham. A burnt ham? To go for a, a cooked breakfast. And uh, we went somewhere different, didn't we? Where they put black puddings on my plate. Mm. But when, when they did that, usually Ron would make a gift of the black puddings on her plate over to me as a gesture. I think while well, watching Robert tonight, I'm going to paint. But this time she actually started eating the black pudding. I'm already really sick. Jerry. I don't know. Yeah, Jerry had chicken, squash, and potato, were it? Yep. Mm. They cooked them on the stove and the chicken in the oven. Wow. Don't you me? Breaded chicken, were it? Breaded chicken. Yeah, breaded chicken. Sucked. I won't buy Jerry. that one again. I won't buy it again. Oh, was it an already made? Yeah, already, bre yeah, already breaded. Frozen, yeah. Mm. They're not as good as the fresh ones, are they, Jerry? I don't fresh make them. Yeah, fresh chicken Yeah, but I don't, I don't feel like going through all that. Yeah, it's a lot of messy, especially if there's only, only one of you. 
Yeah. I could make a bunch of them, I guess, and freeze them. Maybe I'll do that one day. Get a bunch of chicken, cut it up, and free bread it and freeze it. Maybe I'll cook it, freeze it, and then, I don't know, figure it out. Anyway. Well, you could do it either way. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I think if, if you cook it first and then freeze it, when you come to use it, you can cook it straight from frozen. But if it's uncooked and frozen, you've got to thaw it out before you freeze it, I think, before you cook it. Cook it, yeah. Yeah, but I've never tried cooking like a frozen chicken unless it's been cooked first. I have done with beef. You can cook beef from frozen. Like you ground, you ground beef. Yeah, right, right, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably cook it and then freeze it. We're doing that with a lot of potatoes this year. Chicken breast sales at the store and say, When do you, when did you plant your potatoes? Yeah. yeah. I haven't gone in yet. I'm ordering them this week. They'll be here, they'll be here before the oh. end of the month. I can start going in in April. Yeah. You get early potatoes? Yeah, we get first earlies and second earlies. That's where you get your little new potatoes from. Those are nice, aren't they? New potatoes are lovely. But they got really cheap at the supermarket the last couple of years, only a, a buck a buck for a bag of them. No, they're not. They were. No, they're not anymore. No, they're not. That's why we'll grow some more of our own. Watch for chicken breast sales at the store. <laughs> Yeah. Get that chlorine. Yeah, get some good chlorine. Chlorine and chicken. I wonder why they do that. Does it preserve it for longer, do you think? Sorry, do they do chlorine? I don't know. I don't know how they do it. They, they, oh, they inject it, don't they? In what, every single chicken in what goes in for food? Gets injected every single one. Yeah, but that'll take forever. That nah. I think they go go. Just I don't know. Maybe they go through a, a bath. Yeah, they might do. Or it's in the food. No, 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 no. Stuff. You can't. It, it'll kill them if you do that. It, it's done no, after. It won't be in the food at the processing time right. when they do the chlorine. I just don't get why they do that. So there must be a reason for it because chicken's known for salmonella, isn't it? And I know they can yeah. inject. They can, Google it. They can inject it with brine, to, and it makes it appear bigger. But um, chlorinating it, yeah, yeah, it's a sal it's a salmonella run. Les are just uh, verifying it. Yeah, it's known for salmonella as raw chicken. They probably just wash it through in it, don't they? Euro chicken doesn't have salmonella. Is it because different? It's, what? it's a salmonella. It's to get rid of salmonella, but European chicken doesn't have that problem. You can watch us. What's that, Jerry? Uh, the truth about chlorinated chicken. Oh, do you want to watch that and then find out? You, you might not want to watch this. C H L O R N R I N. Uh, 
Oh, uh, yeah. So it's not about the core, you know, it's not. Somebody had said. Uh, it's, it's to do with poor animal hygiene, so it's obviously like battery ends and stuff like that, where they've all got disease. And the minute. Yeah, it's because, because their growing conditions are so unsanitary. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we have animal welfare standards here. You can't do that. Well, we do too here, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, somebody in the comments said, why is chlorinated chicken worse than chlorinated drinking water? Different amounts of chlorine, I suppose. And in America, it's fluoridated as well as to drink water, isn't it? Yeah, chloride. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you're better off raising your own chicken, but, you know. Yeah. Wonder why European chicken doesn't have salmonella. Usually, it's a, it's a welfare standard, and they're fairly well checked on. You know, you can have free range or barn barn raised, and barn raised is means the chickens are undercover, right? But they're in cages. They're in cages. They're not in cages. Oh, yeah. They're in cages. It's a battery farm, but as far as I'm aware, that's illegal now. Not many people do them. Would use uh, battery. They wash them anyway. Battery methods. Yeah. I wonder what the, what the growing difference between both countries is. No idea. UK drinking water fluorinated. Maybe you well, should do an in depth. In depth in-depth uh, reporter uh, study, Digger. Yeah. Take the Jeep tomorrow and go to a chicken farm. Okay. We want to rescue them all. Okay. Make a YouTube video. Go and check on your farm. See if the birds are in good health. Yeah, but that's different than a big commercial place. Hmm. Very much different. Where's your commercial chicken grown? I don't know. It'd be, the biggest one would be Matthews Norfolk Farms, won't it? Burning bloody Matthews. But those are producing. Come from abroad, you know. Those are producing Romania now. You know, a lot of Bernard Matthews stuff. You don't have chicken farms by you? We do, but not well, nowhere near us, really. Like they're in like out of way in these big industrial places, aren't they? Yeah, but not for battery eggs now. You can't have battery eggs, can you? Yeah. Why can't you have battery eggs? I thought they stopped it. No, they, they they have law. They changed the laws as to how many birds went in one cage. Yeah. <laughs> When I was when I was a, a youngster, I, I used to work on the uh, Ollie Reed's chicken farm, and they were all battery farms. And you'd, I used to go collecting the eggs. Did you? Well, uh, uh, You're the egg collector. Yeah, and sometimes yeah, I, because they're under false lights and stuff, they get really bad marks, and you end up covered in them. Mm. Horrible, horrible things. Yeah, they're not. It's not a nice place for them. I used to get to uh, put them. You put them through. They call it candling, but it's not. It's just a red light. Yeah, yeah. See, like, the egg looking for any cracks. Once they come through in any way cracks, you have to pull them out. Yeah. Do you get eggs every day at the farm? Um, we do, but. Only like because we've not got so many ends now, we've only got like four ends, so we only get sometimes we only get maybe two, three eggs a day now. Yeah, we've got we used to get like eggs. trays and trays a day when we had loads of them. We used to sell, sell eggs to the butchers and stuff, didn't we? So you don't get too many eggs. You, you don't eat eggs really, do you? No, I like an omelette now and again, but. 
I eat them pretty much every day. How come you don't eat them? You don't like what? them? What's about it? I don't know. It's just being arsed, isn't it? I like eggs. It's an easy meal, meal, to be fair. Mm. Yeah, I like boiled eggs as well. Boiled, scrambled, and omelette, I like. Wholesale poultry factory. Right. Well, they didn't ban battery eggs. Mm. Go make a video of the place, Les. Let us see what it's like. I know it's on its arse, it's a battery job now, isn't it? It's dying out. You don't like oh. eggs either, Wing Wang? How come? Eggs got a bad a bad rap about the cholesterol, didn't they? Nah, they don't have no cholesterol. They're good for you. Mm. They always have been good for you. You see, well, what I heard was whilst it has been confirmed that eggs do contain cholesterol, it hasn't yet been proven or established that consumption of eggs would help to raise the level of serum cholesterol that's found in the human bloodstream. Yes, exactly. No, Wigwag, how come Wigwag, how come you don't like eggs? What's up? You just don't like the texture no matter how they are cooked. Okay, good night, Les. Good night, I Les. Kind of fried eggs at all. EFSA backs at Les Milton Ruin comments about cut. Then said the company bacteria is high. What's that about? The reason for chlorinating the chicken. Oh, uh, yeah. Because it's nasty. <laughs> That's how it is. Man, there were a lot of people here early. I guess they all left. How many does it say we've got? Oh, eight. <laughs> Just eight. That's it. Yeah, yeah, because Ron's watching, so Ron counts as a half. She's watching on my computer. She's a half? Yeah, she counts as half because the two of us are watching on one computer. Oh. And she's half the size of us lot, she says. So you're working again tomorrow, Jerry, all day? Uh, I got a couple of jobs to go on, woodworking jobs. Oh, cool. I got to go measure something. Some lady didn't get back to me, so I don't know That's what happened there. And then, uh, that's it. We'll see. Wow. Right, Mark. Eat. Can pylobacteriosis is more prevalent than salmonella over there. But bottom line is, uh, if you get infected, same results. Get it, bottom line. Yeah. You're going to spend a long time on the closet. On the closet? On the cars here, yeah. Oh god, I don't want to eat chicken over there. I think you'd have to put boiling water over it before you cooked it. Mm. 
Can you get unchlorinated chicken over there anywhere, Jerry? Yeah. I'm sure at like a family farm you could get you could get something like that. Yeah? Probably, yeah. Once it's been once it's been through the oven, it's, it's not gonna have anything on it, is it? I have no idea. No, I mean, come, I'm sure there's some. I mean, look at fish. That you say, like, uh, fish has mercury in it. Well, once you cook it, the mercury doesn't go away. Mm, yeah, but salmonella's a living thing, isn't it? Can it withstand the temperature in the oven? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you can get salmonella in anything, can't you? You can get it in vegetables. Yeah, I know. You can get it, like, from uh, lettuce. Like, for a while, they were, they had, like, uh, a lot of romaine recalls. Uh, and especially, like, uh, bagged lettuce already yeah. cut up and stuff. You can get it from that. Yeah. So, just and stuff's on turn, you know, when you can yeah. just see it, but some people still eat it. That's more than the more than likely gonna get salmonella. Just grow your own and pick it mm. as you need it. Yeah, but not everyone can grow their own, can they? I might do that, grow that and some lamb's lettuce, corn salad. Yeah, you know, you can get one of those little aero gardens and have a little hydroponic thing in your house anywhere. You know, and grow lettuce and whatever you I've want. Got a raised bed here at the back. Um, I'm going to have to start that soon. It's going to be still there when the new building goes up, so it won't get in the way and need moving. I could put some stuff in there. Hello, Thomas. Why don't you get yourself a little hydroponic garden? I've no room for it. Just put it on Jimmy's birdcage. Yeah, I could do. Yeah, that'll go down well. It's a rounded top. Balance hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, Thomas? See you, Mike. Have a good night. Take Thanks care, for Mike. Popping up. And it's Take care. Good job, to see you. After all. Good Take job. care. Good to see you. Pip, pip, chip, 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 and toodaloo. Chicken is, does it? Toodle pip, old chap. Toodle pip, old chap. But not uh, lettuce. Don't cut lettuce. Doodle pit bull, chap. Jolly good. Jolly good. Pip, pip, and chip, chip, hoo. And all that other stuff. What's up, Thomas? What kind of rare spikes did you find today? Rare ones, I bet. I bet he found some rare hey. stuff. What kind of rare spikes did you find today, Thomas? How many? P and I look and what's it reversing? Wow. Jolly tell me boys. when you tell me when you get a P and I horn for the train. Tell me when you get that. Red soda. They have, a, they have a soda called Jolly Good. Jolly Good? Jolly Good. Rather. Jolly Good. So, hey, how you doing, old fruit? Stainless steel of some kind. There's only one kind, really. Stainless steel that I know of. 
get different thicknesses. Is it a rare one? This reverser key. Yeah, it's rare. He's got rare railroad pins and all sorts, as uh, Thomas. It's rare. All right. Well, why is it rare? I don't know because when they were doing the Pacific to the Atlantic, Atlantic Pacific coast to coast, they needed only needed about thirty-five million railroad ties. All right. So that were rare yeah, then. Bloody hell! We're pinning each side of one. Good and bloody better. So they're pretty rare, aren't they? Those railroad. Yeah. Gordon Bloody Bennett, Gordon Bloody Bennett, Gordon 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 He's, he's talking about a heater for his, his fish tank. He still, I, I don't think he told me about uh, if his Some of them died. heater that caught on fire was Some an fish. old one or a new one. And then he's put another tank up and put the shark in that back in. And now he wants a heater. Well, he needs a heater because his shark is going to freeze to death. Hmm. Eight three hundred is a GP ten. Thomas, you should write a book about these reverse keys and these rail pins that you've got, or at least an article. An article. I think you could write a little book for collectors and how to spot the rare ones from the common ones. Yeah, maybe. Well, I wouldn't know a rare one from a common one if uh, if I wouldn't know what I was looking at. I, I'd clearly, I want the rare one, but I wouldn't know how to tell if it was rare or common. Or are they all well, rare? People say it was rare because you can't believe you found it. Mm -hmm. you don't know what you're looking at. So well, Jerry it. once did a few rail pins, real ones, and put boxcar Jerry on them and planted them in various places for people to find him. I've been looking all over and I've still not found one yet. Mm. Did they all get found, Jerry, or is there still some on the loose? Uh, no. They're still on the loose. Wow. I'll keep looking then. Keep looking. When did he do that? A couple of years ago now, isn't it? Yeah. And nobody's found any of them yet. Uh, no, I didn't put any out. I put one out. Did that get found? Uh, I think so. Now you tell me. I've been uh, I've been all up and down the West Coast line and the East Coast main line as well looking for them. Dear, I didn't go to the UK. Oh, thanks for telling me now. That's two no years. I'll never get back. Two years of my life wasted looking for a railroad pin. I thought it'd be it easy to because we don't have them here. There wasn't wasted. Think of all the exercise you got. <laughs> and then he woke up. Yeah, and that's what's done. My, that's what's done for me. All that walking about. It's made my back go crooked and it's made me chicken worse. Walking about like a loser. I don't think it made your ticker worse. Maybe your back worse, but not your ticker. They almost think you're a rat lazy bastard. They don't think that at all. Yeah. Why must they? You brag about not doing anything. I don't brag about not doing anything. I'm retired. What do you expect me to do? <laughs> He's retired. I planned. Uh, he, re he retired ages ago. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I'm, still, I'm still retired. I haven't come out of retirement, do I? Yeah, but you literally don't do anything. Oh, right. Whoa! He was, he was hoovering today. Or Excuse me. Yep, I hoovered. Right. Today you did? Yep, in kitchen. No, I was lying. How am I? You are blatantly lying. I know I swept today. You haven't even swept? Yes, I have. Stop lying. No. Nope. I've spent all day cleaning this house, so don't you tell me you've done it. You came upstairs out at blinking way. Oh, when you were angry, I did, yeah. No. He said he said you didn't do a good enough you job. He had to thing. go over it. He oh, said sorry, you didn't. Right. The only thing he's done is put a safety gate back on for me. That were it. He said you didn't do a good enough job and he had to go back over your work. Yeah. I think you'd more than likely hear me saying that about him. <laughs> never happy, Jerry. She's never happy, man. Whatever I do, it's never right, so she may as well do it herself then, yeah? <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> That's what they say. Do it I yourself. Do all, I do a lot of washing up here. No, you it. don't. We've got a dishwasher. <laughs> Well, he, he switches it on and then empties it, puts all plates away. Oh, see right. So, Thomas, have you found any more of these rail pins? You want to find the golden spike? What the president hammered in there? Will it be solid gold or will it? it won't be solid gold, will it? Just be a gold plated one. Robert will be on soon. That's right. Cool, Robert. Good Hi, night, Jared. Ron. Good night, Ron. Sleep well. Good night. Cheers. Cheers. Good night, old girl. Pip, pip, and toodaloo. That's the one. Oh, do I see ya? Do I see ya? Pip, pip, toodaloo. Toodaloo, so old chaps. Out on your fish tank. Do I, did you fix it so it won't happen again? going to burn the house down now. Yeah, that'd be terrible. Like the talking heads, burning down the house. Do 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 burning down the house. Well, that's pretty cool. Burning down the house. How's that, Peter? Very good. Ring of fire as well. That'll do it. The good old Johnny Cash number as the house is on fire. He even had some mariachi lads on that on that record, doesn't he? When he's playing that tune. Ring of fire. He has the trumpet lads from the mariachi band on. Really? Yeah. The trumpets at the beginning. Really? Uh, it's a burning flame. Really? The taste of love is sweet. That's his damn palate, though. You going to watch a little Robert tonight? Uh, hopefully I will, yeah. See what's going on. I want to see how far he's got with these oil terminals in that. Yeah. Doing a good job. I almost, almost went to the train shed today. And uh, 
I got down there and it started turning cold. Yeah. Ron was in the garden messing with the dogs. Yeah. And so I thought better of it. I made some coffee and then I thought, oh, shove it. I'll go back up and mess about on the bench. Shove it, huh? <clears throat> shove it, yeah. Yeah. Take this job and shove it. That's a song, you know. Yep. That's a song, digger. Take this dog job and shove it where the sun doesn't shine. Is that the No. Let's take this job and shove it. I ain't working here no more. Sounds good. You see, when you're retired, you, you don't have to do anything, do you? Why? What? I don't understand the beef. Because my, my hobby is, is a hobby of leisure. Well, you know, it's nice to keep busy. I mean, you got to keep busy, Digger. You can't just not do nothing. I do keep myself busy. I yeah. do inch, internet work, I do <laughs> 3D printing, I do some bits of airbrush painting, running models. I'm going to be busy in, in late spring, early summer with this new building. When do you think you're going to start it? Hopefully. I've asked my brother, who is my older brother, yeah. who, who actually is a builder, I yeah. asked him to kind of project manage it and not, not do anything, but just sort of make sure everything's done right as it progresses along. And uh, he's got some good suppliers for materials, so he's going to organise that. And he said as soon as it's warmer weather, he'll uh, he'll come over and we'll get stuck into it. So when do you think? I'm thinking mid to late April. Pretty soon. Hopefully, yes, hopefully. What's got to happen first? The weather's got to improve. Then I hire a, a dumpster truck, trick, throw all my crap out. Then we've got to clear the site of the old sheds and, and what have you. Make sure the electricity supply is safe. Get the new one. And then make a start on the new one. So you got to do a dumpster, huh? Yeah, it's um, it's going to be raised, built on on uh, cinder block foundations. Then it's going to be a waterproof membrane around the timbers that go on for the base. Electricity supply hooked up to the inside. Do you not have to put footings down? Yeah, yeah, that's that's going to be done with the cinder blocks, but that's why I say my older brother's going to make sure they do that correctly, whoever does that job. And then it's it's going to be mainly, except the floor and what have you, that's not going to be, the floor is going to be uh, tongue and groove, but the sides and the roof and everything else is going to be um, sterling board OS, OSB. Paper mache? Four by four timber it's joists for the styrene? styrene walls? No, OSB and then styrene on the on over that and then render. Are you gonna weather it? <coughs> Probably. I don't know yet. Yeah. But I'm gonna have oh, double yeah. glazed windows and double glazed doors. It's gonna be UPVC. How many windows? I think four on on one side and one at each end. Sounds and the back, good. The back side that faces the fence isn't gonna have any on. But once that's done, then the, this stuff goes on called render board. And it's right. like a, a thick styrofoam, and it sits in channels that are screwed on, 
and then that's all actually rendered up. What's rendered? Um, cement. What do you call it? Stucco, you call it, don't you? Oh, stucco. Yeah. Do you call it rendered? Be... Yeah. And then it's going to be painted. And then I've got all the inside work to do. We should be hooking up some electrical point from the main supply and then um, setting it out in there, you know, putting all the tools and machinery back in, putting all my things I've got in storage in there, and then what? putting my collection of die cast and stuff in there. How long do you think it'll take? I'm not sure. I haven't. I'd like to get it done. A couple of weeks? Week and a half? Week and a half? couple of weeks for the building probably a month or so for the interior so three or so, five days huh? isn't it too wet and rainy for stuff it is at the moment but we do get a spell where it could be warm where it could be warm and you, you only need a day where it's not raining or a few hours where it's not raining to get it on cover it hey Cosman Cosman Got a question for you. Uh, portable air conditioners, do they work good or is a window air conditioner better? Take this job and shove it. Now Ron's talking about getting a, a portable air con unit for downstairs for the dogs. Believe it or not, not for me. Not for my fat carcass. No, no, I can sweat in the heat. <laughs> yeah, they're going to get an air. Well, you're just going to have to hang out with the dogs. Yeah, I will be doing. I will be doing. Is they get a fancy aircon unit, and I get stuck with a fan. There you go. I think it's the windy ones. The ones that go in the windy have more power. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I need it more than a few days, so, yeah. Oh, my. Just the best. Where it says, oh. Take this job and shove it. That's a proper song, isn't it? Yep. I want to give her on the anniversary card. And when I handed it to her, she said, what's this? I said, it's my resignation. I resign as your husband. <laughs> you resign? Psh. Yeah. She laughed. They made the song into a movie. Almost time for Robert. They made that song into a movie, did they? For somebody that doesn't watch movies, you know a lot about movies. Yeah, what was the movie? Nine to five with Dolly Parton. Yeah, what was the name of the movie, real quick, before we go? It's almost time for Flying Crow. Uh, 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 uh. Have you seen Flying that ride storm with Take This Job and Shive It? Take This Jib and Shive It. Take This Job and Shove It. Take This Job and Shove It? That's the name of the movie? I'll have to go Google it. All right, everybody. Have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. Be well. Be blessed. Digger, have a good night. It's time for Robert. Hurry up and go over to see Robert. On my way. See you, everybody. Have a good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Cosman, I'll be around tomorrow. Going to the shop. Got some shit to do. Got some jobs. See so yes, maybe I'll get a pizza.
tomorrow from Sidley. Yeah, hey, maybe I will. Good All right. Idea. See you, everybody. Bye now. Bye. Cheers, Jerry. Cheers. Cheers. Tell her all. Toodle.